So YouTube uh, sent me a bit of notification informing me what my channel viewers are also watching. And when I looked up those channels, uh, a lot of them were like uh, Hindi speaking channels that are teaching in Hindi and a lot of uh, subscribers are watching Telugu speaking channels which are teaching DevOps and AWS in Telugu language. Which with, you know, with due respect to uh, these languages and uh, the YouTubers uh, that are creating this content, my only request or suggestion to everybody else who, is, who are following this content uh, is to practice this in English language if possible. Uh, you will be facing all your interview questions, all your day-to-day uh, -day job activities that will be in English language. All the entire uh, AWS documentation, everything you will refer, even any other performanceable documentation, any stack overflow, anything you will refer to will follow English language. So why not build that vocabulary from scratch? Why do you have to you know, make extra effort to translate that into different languages and uh, that? So just like uh, my yesterday's video, uh, you know, you have to uh, learn Linux and get just make it part of your day to day job. Do everything uh, associated with these tools. Similarly for this, um, this recommendation, try to follow uh, English speaking content. Uh, if you know uh, there are uh, uh, the bunch of uh, courses available, there is no, uh, you know, shortage of content or quality content in English language. You don't have to follow uh, these uh, local languages. It may feel that you have gained quite significant, but when you will try to you know, inform others that what your learnings are, that's where you will struggle. So uh, something like uh, I just pulled a short uh, diagram just to show if you are if your job and your interview requires you to have some complex uh, scenarios, uh, difficult situations, practice with that. Practice with the test match ball. You don't practice uh, with this ball and then expect you to perform well with a test match ball. So uh, just, just a short example uh, I wanted to put together so that uh, in, you will not have the right vocabulary, th those right words, uh, when you approach your interview, that is usually a, a lack lacking uh, thing. Uh, people struggle to, you know, use those complex words. <clears throat> the other thing, if you have this opportunity, try to get training from people who have real uh, experience as well from uh, from corporate. A uh, lot of these YouTubers and uh, content creators they themselves are not working or have not worked at all in past and they started with with the, you know uh, long back in youtube or this journey and because of the early success they are not continuing that look for them having certifications look for them having corporate experience if they are working right now that's that's an extremely good thing um, even though they will create less content not available all the time but the content and the value addition they will do uh, will be immense because they will be speaking from their experience uh, point of view uh, so what you are basically going through is you are learning from their experience is pretty much all the good points of his experience are getting added to your experience as well so look for these kind of uh, qualities when you are selecting which content you have to watch. I looked up uh, at one of the uh, uh, the Shire uh, YouTuber and uh, he spent uh, roughly more than half an hour just to explain how Terraform is to be installed. And then rest of the content was just to ensure that the users are engaged. Uh, he's talking some examples or some other uh, his day to day life why he could not deliver some content uh, where he was busy he was blogging or vlogging or whatever so those kind of uh, things you have limited time right you can't spend all your time on these kind of uh, content or this kind of uh, stuff if 
if installing Terraform, you are able to follow some documentation. You don't even have to spend or waste your 25, 30 minutes on such content, which just actually is telling you to download an executable and set up your environment variables properly. So don't uh, you know look for such kind of content. Look for people who have experience, who tell you the right words to use, who, who improves your vocabulary and follow the English content. Thank you so much, guys.